Mm, testing, testing. Okay, good. We are live again. All right. So welcome everyone to this uh, video of uh, Open Foam. And yeah, and today we want to talk about. Uh, we'll continue to talk about uh, meshing. Okay, to refine the very simple mesh that we have uh, done earlier. So if you've seen in our last video, we've been using this tool. Yeah, we've been using this tool called Create Patch. And what it allows us to do is to rename patches. So if we go, uh, if we go to system clear, we go to system, and we go to the uh, create patch dictionary. All right, oops, wrong dictionary. Okay, auto patch. Okay, so what it does, what it allows us to do is to rename the patch. For example, the bottom patch. Yeah, the bottom patch is renamed from this uh, bottom patch here and it's uh it becomes this uh i mean it is renamed from auto patch into bottom patch now what what uh, this allows us to do also create patch also allows us to merge two patches or more into one so you can see that if construction is from patches you can um you can describe the name of the patches so for example if you want auto 0 and auto 2 to form one patch you can do that as well. So combining both of them to form one patch is possible using this create patch utility. Okay, so you if you wanted to do that, you would just uh, type something like auto2, for example, and you would save and you would run your create patch. So this is useful, especially if auto patch gives you a lot of uh, small patches. A lot is like a very fragmented patch. Okay, so you would see something like this. Uh, let's let's give you a new one. Yeah, let's give you a new one. Uh, a, a, some some new thing here. Um, all right. So let's say we have some very funny sh uh, shape patch like this. Okay, you have a cylinder that's going like a Z shape, for example. And sometimes maybe auto patch because it sees this angle as being very you know adverse, uh, yeah adverse ish. So this one will be like maybe auto three for example, and this one become auto four, auto four, auto four, and uh, auto five, auto five, and. If auto patch gives you this kind of scenario, you can and you probably want to combine your auto three, auto four, and auto five into one patch. You can do so using this create patch dictionary. Okay, so uh, that's that's how this thing works. Okay, and what you might have noticed is that uh, the patches are written into different time steps. So uh, this is the reason why it's there is because we didn't use the overwrite function. So we should. Uh, talk about using create patch, okay, and then you should use uh, overwrite over here, all right, overwrite. So this is something like what you should be typing. So to make it simple, let's just do uh, uh, let's just remove this, and we'll use the create patch, and use overwrite. Okay, it will it will over overwrite any existing patch here and you can check it using paraview so let's let's use paraview um, over here where do we look hmm this one we go up uh, refine snappy pipe foam I hope this is the one Okay, am I using the right folder? Yes, it's the right folder. Okay, good. So this is the this is the one we have, and we can again use our VTK colors to to uh, give it the right one. Okay, give it the the right uh, color scheme, and of course we can use uh, interpret values as category, and that's it, and. Uh, you have different colors again and you want to see which one is the top and bottom patch of course you can use the axis grid 
and the green one which is number four is a, a bottom patch yeah okay green the green one is the bottom patch so you can just keep checking and unchecking the boxes to to get the get it but yes uh, we have successfully renamed we have successfully renamed uh, this as the bottom patch okay um, perhaps one of the reasons why they are reordered is that you see that uh, it says here moving faces uh, patch auto 2 to patch 4 auto 1 to patch 5 so uh, auto 2 is uh, this one called top patch so top patch seems to be um, excuse me sorry yeah uh, I just need to clear my throat <coughs> yeah so um, top patch top patch um, top patch is needed I mean top patch becomes uh, patch number four uh, the wall patch becomes patch number five and this one becomes patch number six so it looks like uh, the way that you see the patches appear here in the mesh regions it looks yeah it looks almost alphabetical if you, if you think about it yeah so I guess uh, you can you um, yeah it looks like the the mesh regions here they are arranged in an alphabetical way so you can't use that to really determine which is which VTK composite index is which but it's a uh, it's useful way to see you know you can keep checking and unchecking to see what's the what's the what's the patch anyway so we have successfully renamed our patch and that's the that's the point I want to bring across and we use the overwrite to um, get get you know create patch to run correctly so that we rename the patches and not write this to a new timestamp okay so let's let's write this command okay we'll write this command into into our um, script so let's do auto patch mesh gen we will do after overwriting and I'll paste it here okay Control shift v for linux systems or ubuntu systems windows subsystem for linux you might use the right click if i'm not wrong okay so create patch and you use this dictionary it says uh, the auto patch version which is what we want and uh, doing so we can do a git add and git push i oh, don't know git add git commit uh, what but auto patch or oh, create patch has been added Patch added to change uh, patch names. Okay, very simple. All right, so that saves it to the local Git repository. Uh, I don't want to upload it to GitHub just yet. Um, but next thing we want, next order of business, is we want to start thinking about. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna shift out of this VTK composite index into this solid color and I want to take a look at the edges now you notice that the edges they are not uh, all right they are not they're not very nicely aligned they don't have these nice layers that we need and what uh, snappy hex mesh can do is to help us to add layers so let's uh, just uh, start experimenting with that okay so we can run snappy hex mesh twice all right uh, well, what do I mean by that? Okay, we go to the snappy uh, system, snappy hex mesh dictionary, and what do we see? We we see here that the castellated mesh and snap is true for this particular snappy hex mesh dictionary, but the add layers is false. So if we want to uh, stagger, you know, stagger our castellated mesh and snap, uh, and stagger it with uh, with the add layers, we can we can do that. We can switch off the castellated mesh and snap, which uh, makes this very nice geometry. Uh, we add the layers later. Of course, you can do everything in one shot, but but how add layers works is uh, pretty. You got to know how it works. Okay, so let me illustrate to you how this add layers actually works. All right, so we'll have our cylinder again. I'll just quickly draw. Uh, our cylinder 
um, what we have here uh, what we have here uh, when we first do our first run of snappy hack smash snappy hack smash snappy hex mesh okay the first thing that happens is that okay snappy hex mesh is going to say this whole thing is one patch which we call cylinder okay this whole patch is called cylinder all right and if you need to add layers okay we, this is uh maybe one b all right okay never mind you do your snappy hex mesh first, which is to do the castellated layers and castellated mesh and snapping. Then you need to add layers. How does add layers work? Add layers works uh you by doing this. You have to tell add layers which patch. Which patch do you want to add layers? Okay. Okay, which patch do you want? Okay, so um for example ideally if we have a pipe right ideally if we have a pipe we will have an entrance region and an exit region and what where you want to add layers is basically a uh, perpendicular i mean normal to this wall region so close to the wall you want your mesh to be sort of nicely structured and um parallel ish to the wall and not look something like this 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 is not what we want this this structure here is not what we want we want all the the um, layers to you know run sort of uh, close to the wall okay we want these layers to run uh, parallel to the wall these lines here to run parallel oops sorry let me yeah Okay, let, let me do this again. And let me do a magnifying glass. Alright, here we go. We want this we want this to actually run close to the wall. Let me try and see whether a screenshot will help. Okay, I'll save or copy to clipboard. Perfect. So let's let's uh, let's put it in GIMP and try to illustrate what's happening. Okay, um let's do this okay yeah so we want the layers to be so called like this we want the layers to be uh, as such okay and we don't want this phenomenon happening okay like during okay let me undo the paste yes um, we don't want these layers to be added let's say at the entrance region at the entrance patch we don't want that so what we need uh, I mean you you don't need to have this nice pattern going on in the inlet and the outlet patch right okay so what uh, add layers ideally should be doing is that okay you tell uh, you tell uh, snappy hex mesh I want to add layers near the wall not in any other patch just the wall so snappy hex mesh will look for the patch called wall and then you'll start doing this layer addition thingy However, if if you just start Snappy X Mesh and the whole cylinder is just one patch, then what Snappy X Mesh will do is it will not just add layers to the wall here. Okay, it will not just add layers to the wall, it will add layers to the inlet and outlet region. So for this reason, um, we maybe want to run the Snappy X Mesh first to make this uh, cylinder mesh. And then after that you will do your whole uh, auto patch and create patch then you run snappy hex mesh again but you turn everything else off except for add layers so let's let's uh, try that okay that's what we aim to do here so this this is the snappy hex mesh dictionary it says castellated mesh and snap are on these are your basic uh, meshing tools to give you the the shape that you see uh, on let on, on paraview but we need the add layers bit okay so what we can do is to copy again we can copy uh, go to system uh, we can copy snappy hex mesh dictionary and snappy we can copy it into the file called snappy add layer 
dictionary okay just to make it clear which is which and I'll, I also want to remove our topo set auto patch okay the auto patch because we don't really need that anymore I'll just get rid of it let's go and take a look at the snappy add layer dictionary all right so what does what do we aim to do we want to run snappy hex mesh but only to add the layers and only to the wall patch so I need to turn this off castellated mesh and snap should be turned off and we want to turn this add layers into a true okay so that's part one that's part one so we need to go to the part where it says uh, add layers there'll be some settings for add layers so you'll see this part it says uh, add layer controls and then you'll talk about whatever whatever um, so it will tell you you have this entry here called layers and what you will see is this uh, this thing which is uh, no this is not this these are not patches you will find in our dictionary or whatever in our case because this snappy x mesh dictionary was copied over from a case called the motorbike case in uh, pimple form i think one of them yeah so we don't do this here we want only to add it to the wall and let's say we want to add uh, five layers give or take uh, just a demonstration five layers and we don't we don't uh, mess around with these just yet okay we can talk about this later because these are these are lots more advanced settings so let's at least try and see whether you know five layers are added near the wall so let's run snappy hex mesh with the dictionary system add layers or oh, snappy add layers all right and see what happens so it's going to grow some layers for us it will do some uh, calculations so you'll let it run let it run let it run and uh, it will take some time and about 11 seconds in this case is a very simple one what you will see then is this mesh will be okay this mesh will be written to uh, one uh, a new time step so let's take a look at paraview we will uh, want to reload using f5 okay, we we'll just select this uh, thing and we press f5 and uh, let's let's see we can uh, do a non-zero time okay uh, okay never mind let, let me re reload this okay let's do surface with edges okay uh, hopefully hopefully it starts to work but apparently it has not fully worked yet okay maybe we, we see something right we see something you take a look at the edges we see some some a uh, nice layer addition already so that's that's actually pretty good okay it looks like layer addition but maybe all right maybe it's not working i think we're seeing it wrong let's see whether i can do this yeah this will okay time's up for me okay so anyway uh I mean, we have a rough workflow of what we want to do with snappy hex mesh add layers. Apparently, so it doesn't seem to work so well. Okay. Doesn't seem to be working so well, even at the time of 1 times 10 to the minus 5. Uh, I don't really see any, you know, layers being added in here. But uh, we'll see what we can do in the next video. We'll try and debug this situation. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.